Hi everybody. Today I'll be comparing two new lash glue products. The Velour one, which costs $23, and the one from Kiss, which is $8.97. Now before, I was never really into lashes because, you know, there was just too much trouble to put on. With the glue and everything, I just, I just didn't bother. But then I got a sample of this from Sephora. And it's so much easier and it works so well. The lashes stay on all day. I don't have any problem. It was just perfect. So I went and bought the full size. And not only that, I subscribed to a um, lash subscription box that's eleven ninety nine a month for five pairs of lashes. It's called Lash Scoop. And as soon as it arrives, I'll be unboxing it here. But anyway, since I plan to wear lashes more often now, I got the full size of this. And then I saw that Walmart has a new product from Kiss called Lash Glue Liner. I bought this one because I thought if it's as good as the Velour one, then I can save myself $15 every time I need some more of this. But then, of course, I have to wonder if it's as good. So that's why I decided to compare the two of these. All right. So on my right eye, I will use the velour one. And on the left, I will use the one from Kiss. And the lashes that I plan to use for this test are these lashes that my daughter bought for me from the beauty supply store. Normally, I don't go this dramatic with my lashes. <laughs> Most of the ones I wear are more like these. See the difference? These are like my regular full face of makeup type lashes. And these Lily lashes right here are about as dramatic as I was willing to go before. But for the purposes of this test, <laughs> I figured I would try these really big lashes to see how lash glue eyeliners hold up. Okay. So we're going to see. Okay, this one comes packaged in this nice little tube here. That's a lot. This should last me a long time. And it has some instructions to tell you how to use it. And of course, the print is very tiny. <laughs> All right. It says hybrid eyeliner and lash adhesive. Innovative formula that will change the way you think about lash application. That's true because it certainly changed my, my mind. If you can do eyeliner, you can do lashes. No lash adhesive needed. So starting with one eye, apply an even coat of lash and go eyeliner from inner to outer corner along the upper lash line. Directly apply false lash along your lash line and adjust as necessary. Repeat on the other eye. Now for the kiss one, it says, how to use. Apply to clean, dry eyelids free of moisture or makeup. I guess I should have read this before. <laughs> um, starting with one eye, apply glue liner along your natural lash line, just like a regular eyeliner. Um, before the liner has a chance to dry on your eyelid, immediately apply your Kiss False Lash Strip Band along the glue liner line. Pat to set lash strip in place. Repeat on your other eye. It says glue liner is formulated to last all day, but oily skin might require reapplication during the day. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> that won't work. <laughs> but I'm going to try, okay. Um, line your lid generously with as much glue liner as needed to create a sufficient base for the width and length of the lash band you will secure to it. Okay, the reapplying, of course, that, that will not happen. Of course, I have no desire to reapply my lashes once I put them on. So hopefully, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, hmm. But I'm supposed to apply it to a clean lid. So let me get a Q-tip and I'll be right back. All right. I'm going to attempt to remove a tiny bit of eyeshadow off. In case you're wondering what I have on my eyes, I'm wearing the Naked Cherry palette. I 
And in the center, the really sparkly shadow is from this Alondra Desi palette that I got in the um, the box from Fashion Style. This shade right here. I wanted a little extra sparkle. All right. I have a little bit of eye makeup remover on here. All right. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I should dry my lid a little bit too. All right, now it's dry and I'm ready to try this out. Let's go with the kiss one first on this lid that I've cleaned some of the makeup off. It has like a regular felt tip end, you know, like a regular eyeliner. So let's see how this goes. It's not quite as wet as I thought it would be, but it is kind of. Kiss also makes um, magnetic lashes that I like, that are easy to use. But I wanted something that I could use with any lashes, you know. I didn't want to just be, I didn't want to have to only use the Kiss lashes with the magnets on them. I hope that's enough. All right, hopefully that's enough. Here's the cap. Feels a little bit sticky on my eye. But, well, it is glue, right? Wow. So far it has a really firm hold. I mean, I just barely put it on there and I feel it sticking. Oh, these lashes are huge. <laughs> wow, okay. It's sticking to my eye now. I mean, to my Sticking to my lower lash a little bit. Okay. Well, it's on there. <laughs> Try to get a little bit closer. Okay. Now I'll put the velour one on the other side. Ooh, is this lash is so heavy. <laughs> I'm not used to wearing lashes this big. Oh my goodness. Okay. But let's try it. Let's continue. The velour one has a different type of applicator. You have one like this. And you can see the liquid on there. All right, let's continue. This one feels more wet. But I guess it would because it's not a felt tip.
I would like to do this with just one. With just. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more. I feel it beginning to stick now, too. All right, we'll do the lash now. With this particular type of package, I have to be careful to not get any um, glue around the, the threads. Because <laughs> I do not want the cap to stick to it. All right, now let's try this lash on the other eye. It doesn't grab hold as quickly as the um, the kiss one, but I feel it beginning to stick now. This lash is <laughs> this lash is just so big. Okay. Um. Yeah, I need a little bit more on the inner part. Again, okay, it's coming out better now. The applicator didn't have a lot of it on there at first. Okay, try this again. It's on there now. <laughs> I have to say, it feels a little lighter. This one feels more like a traditional glue, but it has a really tight hold. I mean, as soon as I put it on, the lash just stuck, you know. This one, you have a little more time to, to play around with it before it actually just grabs onto your lid. I think if I was in a hurry, this would be better. All right. So I'm going to wear these around for a couple of hours. And then I'll come back and tell you what I think of them. As well as which one I like better. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> and I'm ready to give you my final thoughts on the Kiss Lash Glue Liner and the Velour Lash and Go. Okay, let's talk about Kiss first. The good thing about this, what I like about the Kiss one is the applicator. The felt tip applicator makes it really easy to put on. And I like the fact that it dries very quickly. So quickly, I mean, as soon as you put it on, you put the lash on and it just like snaps on and it's tight and it's, it's there. <laughs> But that's a plus and a minus because if you're a little bit careless with this, your lashes will kind of stick together like like I did. I, my bottom lash stuck to the top lash for a little bit. <laughs> but I was able to, you know, separate them easily before it dried. So that's not too big of a deal. Um, and of course, the price. <laughs> the price of this one just can't be beat. $9. I think it's an excellent price for this product. 
And now for what I don't like about it. It you feel it. I mean, I feel it when I put the lash on and the lashes clamped, it was just so tight. And um this sock that it feels heavy. I can feel the lash on that really strongly. And for somebody who's not really used to wearing lashes all the time, that can be annoying for me. Having to actually feel the lash all day. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I can get used to that. But overall this is a good product. Now for the velour lash. The applicator of this one, um, it works because it applies the product really wet, but you don't have as much control. as you do with the felt tip. This one you have better control. But I do like that it's a little bit slower to dry because you have a little bit of room to work with this one before it actually dries down and seals the lash on there. But the best thing about this one is you don't feel it at all. I don't even feel this lash now. And this is a lash that's much bigger than what I'm used to wearing. But I don't feel it. Like, I, I feel this one. I felt it from the time I put it on, and I'm still feeling it, you know. It feels heavy, and it feels like I'm wearing false lashes. But this side, I don't feel this liner glue at all. It Once it dried down, the lashes on there. And also, I can wear it over makeup. That's another drawback of this one. You have to either put it on before you put your eyeshadow on, or clean your lash line off like I did. But this one, you it works over your makeup, no problem. It holds, and I don't feel it at all. Also, I believe you get more in this one because this is a full tube, see? And this is like a pen, you know, like an eyeliner pen. So just looking at the two of them, I would think I, I get a lot more product in this one. Yeah, <laughs> when I look at the actual amount that you get, this one only has 0.7 milliliters. And this one has 3.5. I don't know if you can. Yeah. This one has 3.5. So you're actually getting five times as much product in this one as you do in this. So then when you compare prices based on how much you actually get, this is a better value because five of these would be almost $45, where this is 23 So even though it's a more expensive individually, you're actually getting more product for your money with the velour one. I may finish using this one, but for sure when I run out of this one, I will get more. <laughs> I like this one a lot better. And it is a better value overall. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.